Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a video that like kind of cut from when I usually do a morning routine I cut off like right when I start getting ready or just skip that part. So I kind of wanted to show you how I get ready every day. So my morning routine which I'm going to film like an updated 2020 um, that but then I also kind of want to show you like the products I'm using right now just that kind of stuff like the beauty beauty side of it because if you didn't know i actually started off youtube well vlogging but then we had a beauty channel too so i love hair and makeup beauty products they always kill me with their packaging that's what i want so i'm gonna show you just some of the products that i am using and loving right now and then how i do my makeup every day so if you are interested just keep watching okay so I'm not going to be washing my hair today. I'm actually going to be wearing a beanie because it's freezing. But I want to show you the shampoo and conditioner I'm using and all that kind of stuff. So I am actually using the Southern Bell, uh, the Dry Bar, Southern Bell Volume Boosting Shampoo and Conditioner. I found this at TJ Maxx for $9.99 a piece, which is actually a little bit pricey for shampoo um, for me because I am a hairstylist and I can get shampoos for a pretty decent price. Um, but I've been wanting to try dry bar and I want volume. So I have been using that. And then I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should um, link below, but I have been struggling every year with getting extremely itchy skin. And I believe it's some of the products that I was using. So I have to be a little bit careful about what I'm using on my skin. I just try to be more mindful about what it is. So the love and Beauty Planet Turmeric and Tonka Essence. I don't know. I got this in the fall. Not gonna lie. I got it because of the color. And it had the fall vibes. But I actually really like the smell. It's a really just, like if you wear perfume, you're not gonna have to worry about your perfume clashing with this because it's just such a light scent. So I use this in the shower as my body wash. And then when I get out, I have been using the Warm Vanilla Body Butter. This is from Trader Joe's. I got the pumpkin one that same time that I was super itchy and I loved it. So then I got the warm vanilla in the winter and then I'll probably be coconut the rest of the year. And then face wash. I have been using this Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Foam Cleanser for sensitive skin. I got this at Target. Again, probably because it was rose gold, but I actually really, really like it. I've repurchased it twice now. So I really like it. It's just a gentle cleanser just what it says um and i just haven't seen any reason why to switch and it's affordable i just like it um sometime soon i'm gonna invest in my skincare i really want to try the drunk elephant um or the kylie um skincare but for now mama's paying off debt so i'm gonna be budget friendly Speaking of, my daily moisturizer is also one that is very budget friendly. I believe it was like $5. Let's see if I could get to focus. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. It is the Nourish Oil Free Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer, suitable for all skin types. So if you're super dry skin, this isn't going to do anything for you. But if you have like normal to dry, normal, normal skin, it's just enough of a moisturizer to give you something... I put it on every day before I put my makeup on and then I have another primer that I use but I just like it I feel like it's fine and then along with that the vitamin C eye lift serum I got this at TJ Maxx and I've been using it for quite a little bit I don't know if I can tell you like oh my gosh I see such great results but doesn't hurt <laughs> to try and use anything so that is kind of like my hair body skin um, just every day I use those products and then for my hair when I wash it I use this is the matrix length goals um this is actually a deep con or a leave-in conditioner like heat protectant all the things made for extensions and I got this when I had my extensions in and I actually do have one little piece for fullness still in but it smells amazing it's rose gold and it just works really well. It detangles your hair well, it leaves shine. I feel like it's a great heat protectant. So I like it. And that's the matrix. And then I use a little of the Jay-Z Styles um, Rose hair oil, like on my ends, just to get them freshened up. Or like after I do my curls, I'll put just a little oil on my ends or in the evening. Same thing, I'll put oil in my little extension piece. 
Um, and then this I got at the beauty supply. It's the Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. It's like a volumizing um, blowout spray. So I'll just spray this all over my hair again to kind of give me volume and just liven it up. And then this I'm really liking too. I got this at TJ Maxx the same time I got the shampoo and conditioner. And it is called The Kicker. And it is their finishing spray wax. Now, this does kind of make your hair a little greasy and waxy. But I don't mind it because I haven't been using hairspray with it. I've just been using that to kind of give whatever hold and like toss on my hair when I curl it. And I feel like it's working out okay. I don't know if I'd repurchase it, but I'll definitely go through it. I'll use it through and then probably move on. Um, if you're curious, I curl my hair with a very cheap uh, Conair Infinite Pro 1 inch curling iron. Um, and that's about it. So, But today I'm actually going to be wearing a beanie. So... There you go. And so after this, I will, oh, and I'm gonna show you something. So, not sponsored at all, but, um, well, they're not out. Anyway, I went, I got a subscription to the Hubble Contacts. If you guys are contact wearers, and it's in like its actual box, so my address on it, so I'm not gonna show you. But um, I'm really liking those too, and these glasses are from Firmu. And I got them for a dollar. They were doing like a deal where if you give the review, you got your glasses for a dollar. And I really like them. Um, so yeah, those are some things I'm liking and what I'm using right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. Um, my outfit is going to consist of warm and cozy today because we have a prayer night this evening and just some like stuff around the house. So I just want to be warm and cozy. So I'm probably going to wear jeans and a sweater and then call it a day. Um, so I'm gonna go do that, and then the next clip will be me doing my makeup. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so it is makeup time, and I have, you guys, it's real scary right now how this is gonna stay up, but okay. So I have my moisture and everything on that I told you guys that I put on, and I have been wearing the Maybelline uh, Dewy and Smooth foundation. I'm in the color 120 Classic Ivory. I actually feel like I need to go down a shade because your girl is real, real pasty this winter. I don't know. I just have not been outside much. I'm cold. And I need to like figure out a really good, um, my mirror is behind you. So if you see me looking, I'm actually looking at the mirror. Um, I need to find a good self tanner, self tanning routine. Just the whole deal. I love being tan. I hate the work of doing a self tanner. So I will get lazy and want to just like tan in the sun or whatever. But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing I don't want the aging effects of that. So yeah, I've, I've tried a few and I don't know. I just never found one that I'm like, this is it. I can do this so easily. I feel like the mousse ones are a little bit better, but okay. So I'm just blending this in with a brush. And again, this is kind of like an everyday, just casual day um, makeup routine. So let's get real. For some of you, this will be like a full glam makeup routine because I do like makeup and I wear it every day and I wear it often. <laughs> so I do do, I do do, <laughs> I do a lot. Um, but I can put my makeup on and like, 10 minutes flat, especially if I'm not talking, but that is what I'm going to be showing you today is what I do every day. Take some steps, leave some steps. Do you boo. Okay. So this is my concealer. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in the color Vanilla 355. I really like this guy. I've actually repurchased it a bunch of times, like four times. In different shades like as my shade went down I've bought the shade down and I haven't even strayed I like it because it is so full coverage um, but it is light enough it's not as cakey as the Tarte Shape Tape for me I used the Tarte Shape Tape and it was just way too heavy for my under eye skin and it um, yeah it creased really really bad it made me look like I have like crepey under eyes I just didn't like it. So this one seems to be a little bit more moisturizing and I like it. Another like motivation to film this video is I have changed up the way I do my makeup um, because I'm getting older. <laughs> you guys, I'm 37. My skin is different. Everything's just a little bit different. So I can't do 
the matte foundations anymore they again make me look too old and they like patch up in areas I just don't like it and I've stopped setting with as much powder so which I never I thought I would go to my grave setting my makeup with powder um so it's very it's very different I go tend to go for dewy um finishes and all that stuff it might change in the summer like my skin might go back to maybe a little more oily in the summer but for now this is working so instead of setting with powder I have been setting with the NYX dewy finish setting spray so after I do my foundation and my concealer give my face a good spray and sometimes I'll go in and make sure to really press the setting spray into my under eyes to like make sure that these guys are going to stay put um, and any other areas I just kind of press in the setting powder with my makeup sponge and then I let it dry so then I move on to my eyebrows which I do have my eyebrows microbladed but it is getting time it's been about a year so it's getting time to have them like touched up so I have been just putting in a little bit of my elf brow like gel and powder kit and I just darken them up a little bit. Plus, I'm so messy with my foundation that I end up looking, I end up getting foundation in my brows. So this just helps darken them back up. I was noticing in pictures and stuff when I was ignoring my brows that they just looked really like ghostly. Like they're there, but are they there? So it just doesn't hurt to darken them back up. And it takes me no time at all because I have really good lines to follow. I love having my mic eyebrows microbladed. I did not love the person I went to as far as like pain. So I feel like she did a great job. My shape is great. great. My shape is great. My shape is great. Um, they've lasted a decent amount of time. So I I like all that. But she used them like target numbing stuff not even kidding and it did not work so I pretty much grab a Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe vault collection palette like every day I love them I have all four today I'm actually gonna be using the armed and gorgeous it's more like yellowy one so same as my foundation and my concealer just kind of setting I just start working on my eyes and this has helped too because I could be kind of messy with my eye colors so then I could clean it up before I actually set it. I'm just using this yellowy color called Access. I love this warm, warm yellow tone. It is so pretty. So I just fluff that all over in my crease with my Sigma Taper Blending E40 brush. Some of my brushes are not going to have names, so we'll... This is a, a Jess Up Concealer Brush. It's just like a flatter head. This helps me just pack on some colors. I am gonna end up going, I think I'm gonna go like a dark smoky eye today. So I'm gonna do this classified color. It's a glittery, like copper, gold, gold without being like crazy gold. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. Now I'm going to go in with a Sigma Taper Blending E35 brush, which is just this <laughs> very dirty, um, thicker natural hair or fluffier, but not as fluffy as the E40. And then I'm going to take the color Smooth Criminal and probably a little bit of Prowl mixed together. And I'm going to put that in my outer V. And just fluff it around and go in just a little bit because again I kind of want a darker smoky eye today and again I'm kind of making a mess but that's okay because I haven't set with powder so I can clean it all up with concealer then I'm gonna take my e40 brush in that access color again and just grab a little bit so I can blend 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 that line I created And then I look like a crazy person. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my sponge and clean up any fallout, smooth out that line that I made. Just clean it all up, girl, clean it all up. 
It's one of my favorite parts of doing makeup is like the blending, the cleaning, the like, oh crud, did she screw it all up? No. And so now I have a Morphe M506 brush. It's this tiny little blender. And I'm going to go under my eyes with the same Smooth Criminal and Prowl. And then just to deepen it up with a smaller brush because it's going to pack more punch, I'm going to just go ahead and smooth it up here and blend it. Made another little mess, but again, don't you fret. I will take care of it. All right. And I told you guys, I'm going for dark and smoky. So now I'm actually going to clean up with this, uh, what is it? It's a Jessup Kabuki. It's like the taper topped Kabuki. And I'm going to take Stay Matte Rimmel and Transparent. Um, Stay Matte Rimmel, I don't know what you're called. Just powder. It's cheap. And I'm going to take that on my flat top Kabuki. And I am going to start setting and cleaning. This is like my little magic eraser brush. I love it. And by this time, my concealer is pretty well set because I've been letting it sit for a few minutes. So it doesn't move around. It's just good. Sorry, I could probably keep blocking. I'm out of like the makeup tutorial game, guys. Sorry. Clean up that line. And then any places where my makeup tends to just move a little bit too much during the day, I'm going to set that with the same powder so my nose tends to move. I don't know if it does that or just from like kissing little baby faces and stuff, it rubs off. <laughs> so I'm going to set that maybe a little bit on my chin, but that's about it. That's about what I set with powder now. Um, I say that, but then you'll see I use powder products as my bronzer and blush, so I feel like that helps set those areas um, without powdering my whole face and just it was starting to look really cakey and just not the look I'm going for so I like to look like I have makeup on but I like to look like it's natural and pretty and I cannot find my eyeliner now here it is so I just have this black coal pencil it's from unique from when I did unique like f three years ago I had like three of them this is my last one and it's it's on its last legs but I just lined my lower waterline with a black coal pencil and leave it we'll let it go and then I'm actually going to do a wing today because today is like any other day we do a wing so I'm going to be using this NYX epic fine epic ink liner um, I actually stole this from my sister at Halloween Thanks, sister, if you're watching this. It's been working out great. Um, I actually really do like it. I like this one and then the e.l.f. liquid liner. The one that comes more traditionally, like in a pot where you remove the brush. The, the, the one I usually buy. Wing done. This one go crazy. Okay, wings are done. Um, I had lax, lax, <laughs> lash extensions for like eight months, and I loved them. They did kind of destroy my eyelashes a little bit, my natural ones. Um, but I loved them. 100% would get them back. But again, your girl's trying to pay off debt, so I need to be smarter with my money. So I took them off. So my lash process is real long, y'all. So it starts with an eyelash curler. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I've been using an eyelash serum from Babe Lash. 100% recommend. Um, I don't know how much it is for the general public. But for me, I was able to get a three month supply for $35. And I didn't notice any difference for like two months. <laughs> and then this last month, all of a sudden I'm like, I have lashes they're growing so 100% you could, I think you could get it in a three or a nine month supply 
and I started off with three to see if it would work. Again, I didn't think it worked until like just recently. So then I do the L'Oreal Voluminous Base Mascara. This is just the white mascara. And so I do, you'll see what I do. I do a couple coats of this. And where are you at? All right, I look nice and crazy. Okay, so I actually let this dry for quite a while. So now I'm gonna work on my the rest of my face. I'm going to do my bronzer. I use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Again, I've probably repurchased this like four times now. I love it. I use the shade Bronzer. Actually, I think I've bought every shade and I like them all for different reasons. So this one just tends to be good for my um, pale skin right now. So I use this huge brush. It's the unique, actually I think it's the powder brush. And I bronze my paste itself all up because I need it. Otherwise people are gonna think they saw Casper go down my neck. I actually do go back with a powder brush too to make sure I don't have like any crazy lines because I have done that blend anything out and then I'm gonna be real real sad when this is gone but I have been using the color OC this is an Urban Decay the Gwen Stefani collab blush palette this color OC is perfect like it's this nice orangey like you could see I loved all these very well so it was the OC hush and lo-fi I still try to get as much as I can of all of them, but it is like this peachy, pretty color, and then in certain lights, it will reflect. You see that like pinky sheen? <gasps> oh, I love it, and I don't know, and I need to know, if they sell it separately, because I literally have been using this every day, every day, I think since I moved here, so almost a year and a half. Um. Okay, maybe not every day. Some days I switch it up and use like my Becca palette. But you can see how much less loved my Becca palette is compared to this guy. I need to see if they still have this <laughs> anywhere. I 100%, 110% recommend that palette. Um, I am going to use my Becca palette. Actually, I need to find... No. Yeah. I was going to use my Becca palette, but honestly, this is what I wear most days. So I wear the Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter because it's just this really pretty peachy pink so I feel like it's a highlight without being like whoa girl you like are glowing I mean I want them to be like whoa girl you're glowing but not like whoa girl you're glowing you know and sometimes I could get that way with Becca palette <laughs> so that is usually that and then I go ahead and once again set my whole face with that NYX liner and at this point I'm ready for my First coat of mascara. So I am using the unique Moodstruck, Moodstruck Epic Mascara. This one is um, one that I won from a giveaway. So yay. I did, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, um, I used to be a unique presenter, so I, I really do love their products. They are great. Um, but they're not as budget friendly as what I need right now. So I had to make some cuts. And I will show you my favorite drugstore mascara, which I need to restock. So, and this is for my little wimpy lashes. Actually, they look pretty bomb right now. I'm pretty happy. I mean, you might have some great lashes, but you have no idea how big the struggle has been for me with my lashes. Between the serum, I think using the primer, and like at least, so I do one coat of primer and two coats of mascara. And I feel like that has been like, okay, I just look like a normal human that has lashes. My sister can attest. I, I do not naturally have lashes. I wear falsies a lot of days. I'm not gonna do it today. Um, but that could definitely be part of my everyday makeup routine because I wear false lashes a lot. So as that first coat of mascara is drying, I'm going to apply my lip color. And so I like a long lasting lip because I do do makeup every day. I get ready, I have 
a, I have to wear a billion different hats in a day. So I like to know that whatever the next phone call is or whatever is going on next, I'm ready for it. Um, so I like to have makeup on and I like to do a lip color because I feel like my lips as I'm getting older are just like losing its color. So sad. And I like one that will last all day long. So I am obsessed with the Maybelline ink lipsticks. They are so good. They last all day. I can eat. I can do whatever. And I don't even have to think about it. I know my lipstick's going to stay put. I feel like I have to give it some time to dry and set before I eat or drink or anything like that for it to last that way. But I'm telling you, I go to go to wash my makeup off at night and it looks like this. Not even kidding. So I feel like all the steps that I do to set it, the products that I use, even though they're not the most expensive products, really helps. So I'm going to apply my lip color. This one is in Unapologetic. Oh, I didn't even know that's what it was called, but that's so fitting. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. All right, so that is all on and now I got to kind of let it set um and I like it because it's just like one really good coat like I make sure I get everywhere and it's done um I had a couple friends who were lip sense distributors and I still wear these all the time in fact they're just right here on my vanity um but you have to do three coats and I don't feel like they wear they like start cracking on me <laughs> and and you can't reapply them they're just a little bit more difficult so I wear the ones that I love the color and just don't want to purchase another one in that color but i would prefer like if matt maybelline came out with every color i have of lip sense 100 what i would just get rid of my lip sense so that's how much i just ugh, i love them and then if you ever feel like you need it like a little glossier you could just put a gloss on top so while my lipstick is drying i'm going to apply another coat of mascara All right, and there it is. And now I'm gonna awkwardly try to be sexy and show you my makeup up close. All right, I'm gonna try to show you my outfit. This is so hard to film on my own. So this is a leather jacket I got from Forever 21 a few years ago. This is just a cute, lightweight sweater that I got from Old Navy last year. I'm wearing some $10 black Forever 21 jeans and these shoes. You guys, how cute are these shoes? So I got these at Walmart this summer and I love them. This beanie I believe is Old Navy or Charlotte Russe a few years ago. <laughs> Everything's a few years ago. Um, I just have on some simple um, rose gold hoops that I wear practically every day. This is like a legit every day, get ready. Um, I have this cute W initial necklace from Forever 21 that I also wear pretty much every day. And then I have my, I, can't, I never know if it's Alex and Annie or Alex and Anai um, bracelets. So I have one that I got in Mexico. It's the pathway, what is it? Path of life. So it's all wiggly and you know, the path of life is never straight. <laughs> and then I just got this one for Christmas. It's from Disneyland. And then I have, so it's Sleeping Beauty's castle and then Cinderella's castle from Disney World. And I just love them because one, it reminds me like life is crazy and I've gotten them all on vacations, which I love to travel. So it's like, just reminds me, I get to go fun places. Um, I love Disneyland. It just, I don't know. They just make me happy. So I wear them pretty much every day. And that's it. <laughs> so that is pretty much how I get dressed. Like I just figure out what's comfortable, cozy. And I mean, I would describe my style as like, I don't know, cozy mom slash hipster. I don't know. I don't know what my style is. I just like what I like. Um, I'm actually pretty excited because this year Brad and I have committed to going to the Goodwill first and shopping secondhand, um, yard sales, things like that before we buy new and to really utilize the pieces we already have. So I'm actually getting pretty pumped about my style in 2020 because I feel like it's going to be a challenge. I feel like I can um, be a little more individual, a little more hippie I don't know um in my style because I'm gonna be just 
really focusing on being mindful and steward and my stewardship of my finances and so I don't want my style to lack at all. I'm gonna utilize everything I have and then just be intentional about the pieces I buy and I think that's really exciting. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. One thing I was gonna mention is while I'm getting ready, I am usually listening to a podcast and so I'm gonna link some of my favorite podcasts below so that way you can listen to a podcast or I'll watch my favorite YouTubers. So subscribe, like, join our tribe, and you can get ready with me. You can listen to one of my soul Sundays. You can watch one of our vlogs. You can just be a part of our family. I would love that so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any tips for me or any products that you're loving right now, please comment them below, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.